I thought the pop-up ad had died. Well, technically they did die, at least the ones that opened up a new tab or window, because almost all browsers now block them, but web developers got smarter and found ways to mimic pop-ups that can't be blocked by browsers, the so-called hover ad. They appear when you scroll down the page, or when you try to leave a site. They annoyingly appear over the current content of the web page, blocking your view. They usually offer some free gift or coupon if you just sign up now or enter your email address. So we've ended up with this stupid situation where every second website has endless pop-ups trying to attract our attention and get our money. But in my opinion, none of it works. Nobody's handing over their money because you showed them an annoying pop-up. If anything, it detracts from your website and makes people more likely to leave. I hate pop-ups. I hate hover ads. I hate sign-up boxes and dialogues that say, click now to get 25% off new membership. When was the last time I went to a random website and bought something? I'll tell you when. Never. I'm not handing over my credit card details to strange websites. I went to download a picture of a bird the other day at a particular website. They stated on their front page that all their images are free to download. But when I went to download the image, a pop-up appeared stating that I had to turn off my ad blocker to download the image as their site is 100% ad sponsored. Fair enough, so I turned off my ad blocker. But then it showed me another pop-up telling me to click here to download the image. When I clicked the link, a window popped up stating that an error had been found on my operating system and I needed to press the following button to fix the situation. A robot voice started talking. Your Windows 10 installation has become corrupt. Please click the remedy button to start a free scan. Your Windows 10 installation has become corrupt. Please click the Remedy button to start a free scan. Obviously, I'm not that foolish, so I decided to close the window. But every time I did, it kept opening up again. A never-ending loop. I had to restart my computer to stop it. Now what sort of website thinks it's okay to treat their users like that? They lie. They cheat. They don't even let you close the bloody pop-up. They claim their website offers 100% free images, but in actuality, they're just a group of scammers trying to make you install some dodgy piece of malware. I'm sick of it. You know who they are? They're dickheads. Do they actually make money from any of this? I'd be surprised if they do. To be fair enough, the original picture did actually download, so I ended up getting my free picture of a bird. They weren't complete lies after all. Although, with all the hassle you have to go through to download a picture, I would never go back to their website again. If they call that success, well, they've got a funny definition of success. It's possible that it's not them who are creating those dodgy pop-ups, but their advertisers. Either way, they've got to think about their end users and not make life hard for them. Ultimately, pop-ups are bullshit. Even reputable companies are now using them. I suppose that means there must be at least some proportion of people still clicking on them. Sometimes I go to read a news article on a particular website, but after I've read about half, a pop-up appears stating, if you wish to continue reading this free article, simply sign up for a free month of subscription. You just have to hand over your credit card details and they won't start billing you until after the free month is up. Um, no thank you. If it was free, then why do I have to sign up? I think these companies forget one important thing. We're living in the information age where pretty much every piece of information is available online for free. If I can't read it at your website, I'm just going to go elsewhere. Now I get it. Journalists can't work for free. Website hosting costs money. But we have to be realistic. If people can get something for free, they're not going to go pay for it at your website. That's why newspapers are in decline. If I want to hear about the latest news, I don't need to pay for it. Ever. So why would they expect me to pay even $3 a month? I know what it feels like to not get an income from my online efforts. I don't get any income from these videos, as I don't meet the prerequisite 1,000 subscribers. I used to get money, but then YouTube decided to tighten their belts and make it harder for content creators. Anyway, that's a topic for another rant. But the point is, almost nobody is making money off information anymore. At least, not directly from consumers. News is spread freely across the web. Almost everyone has a video camera in their pocket, so nothing can be kept in the hands of the mainstream media anymore. And that's good. You can find free how-to guides on almost anything these days. You can use encyclopedias, dictionaries, listen to music, watch videos and movies, play games, study a foreign language. All for free. Freedom of information is a great thing. It gives power back to the people. No more do the aristocracy have a monopoly on information. Information is now in the hands of the many. So every time I go to a website and they show me a pop-up asking me to sign up or register an account or enter my email or pay them $3 a month to look at all of the content for free, I say, piss off. 
We're living in the age of freedom of information. I'm not going to pay you for something that has essentially become free. You can listen to my rants online for free, and I would never expect you to pay. Of course, you'll find lots of content creators asking for online donations and the like, and that's fair enough, as long as they understand that no one is compelled to pay for information anymore. I've seen studies on how people surf the internet. Pop-ups are almost always ignored and closed as soon as possible. So please people, can we just let these things die out once and for all? They're annoying. They detract from your website. They barely work. There's pretty much nothing good to say about them. Pop-ups, hover ads, whatever you want to call them, can piss off.